Hey, good people. Welcome back to Stock Up with Larry Jones. Two things I love. I love it when the sun is shining and I love it when the stock market is green and it's a green day today. Hey, we're going to talk about LCA uh, and we're going to talk about CIIC. And for those of you that's new to the channel, hey, subscribe, hit the like button. I'm going to be giving you guys some great stock pick. We're on our way to a hundred thousand subscribers and um, we're a family and we all help each other make money. Let's go. So let's talk about LCA, Lancadia Holdings. We've been holding this stock for months and we've been waiting on the announcement that came last night, yesterday after closing bail. All right, let's look at the report. So as you can see right here, it says Lancadia announces uh, today that it is scheduled the special meeting in lieu of the 2020 annual meeting of its stockholders, right? For December 18th, 2020 at 1030 AM Eastern time, that's New York time. Okay. All right. Amongst other things to approve the proposed business combination of the business of the business combination between Lancadia Holdings and Golden Nuggets online gaming LLC. All right, let's look at the announcement. It says Lancadia uh, announces special meeting date to approve purpose business combination with GNOG, G-N-O-G. Um, G-N-O-G is what the stock, what the new ticker symbol uh, will become after the merger. So yes, we've been waiting on this for a long time. And um, so I was telling you guys to hold on. These are one of the things you want to hold on. So I want to talk about what's going to happen to LCA, which will be GNOC after the um, uh, merger and the ticker symbol changes. A lot of SPACs, there's a run up, right? Leading up to the SPAC. So there's plenty of headroom. So I would not sell if I was you. I can't tell you what to do because I'm not your financial advisor. Uh, but I will tell you that I'm not going to sell this stock, right? Every stock is not long. I get it. For those of you that want to take profits, that's cool. You know, um, do it closer to the merger date. As you can see, it's right around the corner, uh, December 18th and, um, wait closer to the merger. You can, you know, take some profit before those of us that are up, um, 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 a hundred percent. I mean, that's good money, right? But I'm going to hold. I think that this SPAC is going to operate a little different, right? They are already profitable, right? They're already in the gaming. Um, and, and the CEO is actually on both sides of the SPAC, right? He's the, he's part of the acquisition company and he is, uh, he's the blank check and he's the act the, the company that's getting, um, 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 the, the capital is being infused too. So he's on both sides of the deal. Right. And so, uh, a lot of people thought that caused a problem. I did in the beginning. So I slowly started to buy in. I did buy in, um, because I just think that this is going to explode. The more States that allow gambling, online gambling, the bigger this is going to become. And a lot of States now are going to two things that are, are going to be exploding in, um, in state by state that's weed and that's gambling, you know, and, and sports betting, right? Right. So, uh, we had DraftKings, right? DraftKings has just been trading sideways and been negative lately also, but, um, I believe DraftKings is going to run. They're only in a couple of states and they've already made good headways, right? So with LCA, we want to keep this stock. Um, and, and there's going to be plenty of up room, right? I think that, um, even after the merger, yeah, that's going to be some profit taking, but there's a lot of institutional 
buying into this, right? And so um, when, when big whales start to buy in, that's when you wanna hold. So I am going to take some profits after the merger, maybe the day before, and I'm gonna take some profits and sell some shares, and I'm gonna keep some shares, right? I'll probably uh, do some profit taking, you know, probably sell off about 30 to 40%, do some profit taking, and then let it continue to run. So this is why I tell you guys, don't just go for EVs, you know, and though this is a SPAC, right? And so don't just be in all SPACs either. Uh, but having said that, <laughs> I just told you not to be in all SPACs. Having said that, let's look at a second SPAC that is doing well today, and I believe I know why, all right? So let's look at CIIC. Uh, CIIC is, you guys know, it's another SPAC, but it's an EV uh, uh, manufacturer in the UK, and it's doing well today uh, so far. I don't know what it'll be doing when you guys see it, but it was on, on, on one of my videos. They, they make uh, buses and vans. Um, uh, they have a contract. Um, they have a UPS contract and, um, and with an option to uh, double it. So the ink is not dry yet. Everything is not sealed yet, but it looks very good. They, build, they, they can build micro uh, plants instead of giga plants. So they can build small plants and they can do it under time and under budget. What I mean by that is they could build it out in a third of the time it takes to normally build some of these plants. So that means that they could come in different uh, uh, countries and start building out. And I think that they are forced to be reckoned with. I'm still going to hold C CIIC um, um, and um, uh, I would think that yesterday when we had that red bloodbath, that some of you wise investors were doing some doubling down. Now, here's the reason why I think that this is up. I think that it's up because of what's going on with all the other, uh, with the Chinese EVs. So the Chinese EVs, um, you know, they're threatening to be delisted. Now we know that the whole process people takes years, you know, like three years to happen, right? So you got time to make a decision on what you're going to do with your money. And I'm talking to those of us that, that ha have Xpong and Neo, right? The whole process of delisting. So what delisting is really is, is we have something to lose too, because there's a lot of uh, product that the Chinese government, including Boeing jets and there's a lot of product that they buy from us. And so it's not an easy thing. We just want the Chinese government to be um, forthcoming with their accounting, right? And because if they can lie and inflate their numbers, and I'm just, I'm not saying the whole, you know, all of China, I'm just saying some of these businesses that are not forthcoming, right? And so that could be a big mess because they can inflate the numbers, you invest in the company, and then when the true numbers come out, the stock plummet and you lose all of your money. So that's why we, um, when I say we, in America, our government, we require a standard of accountability. So that's what the whole delisting thing means, okay? So, but CIIC is not from China, it's from the UK. And so the good thing about that is it's not affected by the D list. Okay. And so that's why I think it's running. I think people are pulling money. Um, and, and I know people are selling some of their limiting their risks and selling some of their Chinese stock and they're looking for other EVs. And so they're moving over to CIIC. That's what I think that's going on. And that's why I think the stock is running. Um, so it's good for me, uh, because I've lowered my risk, uh, with my Chinese stock and I still have, uh, Neo cause I think Neo is going to explode. I doubt very seriously if it's just going to be a all in out major D list to where you cannot trade, uh, Neo and, and Alibaba and all of that. It's just, I don't think it's going to happen. I'll be honest with you. 
I come to just give you guys information, right? And, and the information is something that you really, really need to make a conscious decision because you, this is your money, right? So I want you to look at LCA. Uh, I still think it's a whole. I want you to look at CIIC. You know, I told you guys early to get in. I got in CIIC at like 1690, you know, and you guys could have got it at $17 when I first brought it up. Right. LCA, I brought it up when it was, you know, 50 percent less than where it is now, 70 um, percent less than where it is now. And a lot of you guys have bought it. I know some of you guys that are in heavy. Congratulations. Right. So remember, I always tell you there's nothing wrong with doing some profit taking. But right now I'm going to let it ride. OK. Hey, this is Larry Jones. As usual, live, love, laugh and learn.